It won't go away. I've got that it's me, feeling. It's me, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Jasmine Janice. I know um, it's been a minute. I'm trying to, you know, like always, trying to get stuff posted. But um, if y'all here to see this marvelous look that I did today, just because I felt like finally doing a look with yellow because I've been waiting to get a palette with yellow for a long time and now I have like three and I think it looks amazing. It's the day after Christmas and I was so tired of everyone doing those Christmas look. I was gonna post one to my page but I just saw so many and so many people were doing them. I was just like, do we really need another one in life? Maybe next year. But for right now, I just wanna do a regular spectacular, basic, not so basic look. Um, something fairly easier. Um, somewhat and with my favorite color. So without me talking a lot, like always, um, let's get into this video though. You know, here I am, brows done, tape on, wig cap flourishing, and I've already done my brows, obviously, and I used my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer as a base because it's my lighter concealer. It should look really nice, and since I am only using one or two, maybe three colors, that um, it should turn out really well, especially since I have like that really evident crease. Like, I just had it. I have it. I did not set this. So, don't be coming to me like, oh, did you set your? No, I didn't. And I just used a really flat um, synthetic uh, brush to really carve out my brows. I mean, anyway. So, we're going to start, and I'm going to take. Yeah, I'm gonna take my favorite color. And if this is your first time on my page, my favorite color is yellow. And I'm gonna use this yellow up here. And you can't see it, but this yellow is a little darker, and I'm gonna use that one. And I also have one in my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, and it's right there. I'm gonna use that yellow, so that is orange next to it. That's too orange for me. It might be yellow, but it's too orange for me. So, I'm just gonna use the different shades of yellow just to get a little depth in my look, but I don't want it to like, you don't want it to come off like I was trying to look like, make it look one color, and I just ended up mixing a whole bunch of colors that didn't match. So, we're gonna take the lightest yellow, the to me, I'm sorry, this is dropping it. I'm gonna use this yellow right here, and you can see the other yellow, it's a bit darker, but I'm gonna take that one first. Um, don't be fooled, I would've used this as like a base right here, this like beige, but it actually has glitter in it, and that's enough. So, yes, I haven't cut my wig cap, like don't come for me, like, I just threw it on because my braids are out of control. So I'm gonna get this close so y'all can see. And I'm just gonna lightly, lightly, lightly put this on here. And since I feel like, oh, it's not gonna look good, just pat it back in there. And now, usually, I would have done this. Let me turn this down. I would have done this with um, white, which I do have, but for me, I feel like it's still going to look good without it. We're just going to, we're going to just be here for a minute. But that's what I'd be telling people, like, you can wear just about any color long as you can make it work like this this is gonna be mostly a yellow look like that's just what it's gonna be and for y'all I put my mirror like right behind my camera so I don't have to look away or look to the side or anything like that you know I naturally like tilt my head when I do my makeup 
really weird to do with a straight arm. But this is what you want to do and um, I'm going to really just pack it until I'm comfortable with it and then you know I'll come back to it and y'all can see what it looks like after that. Okay I turned on another light just so I could see in my mirror better. I know it looks like a little washed out but let me show y'all the difference so y'all can see. Yeah, it looks better on camera though, so I'm just going to leave that off. So, I packed that on there, and like I said, that was the brighter yellow, and I'm going to go in with this little deeper yellow, and I'm going to take my, um, what is this, my Morphe, of course, it just, it's part of the set, and I kind of broke it a little bit. Anyways, you can see it's really pointed, and it's really dense, like, it's really, really, like, it's, this point's not going anywhere. Like, that's the shape of the brush. Um, I'm going to take this slightly darker yellow and put it right in my crease. And then I'm going to take um, a clean, fluffy brush and blend it out. But I really hope this shows, like, a little bit of a difference in that time. Ooh, almost dipped into the wrong one. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we waited for. take that in my crease. Now, um, I'm terrified and I want it to come out right, but these are moments where you really, for me, you really need to know how to play. So I'm going to take, um, my Anastasia Beverly Hill brush that actually came with a different palette and I'm just going to, I'm going to pack if you are afraid like I am, pack slowly. 
little by little, like just to make sure. So it's coming up. Just pack it in there lightly. And I'm actually gonna take this darker. So I was using this, I'm gonna take slightly darker brown right over top. And I leave my, I like where you can't see where I'm putting it like this, cause then I know for a fact it's gonna increase. So then when I blend it out, just for me. Plus since I'm cutting it, I don't wanna say it doesn't matter, cause it does, don't, it matters. So um, of the same brush, I was using this, so I'm gonna take the other side, which has nothing on it, and I mean, lightly, lightly blend it out. Which I like, I naturally, like, I'm slouching, and I naturally tilt, I'm trying to like, get those so you guys can see. And I purposely didn't put that much here. And then I'm gonna go back, pack in the same exact spot just to build it up and then this way I don't have to blend it as much because it's already kind of there and I can just and I'm when I'm blending this I'm doing it so light and I'm just doing circle motions And it seems really tedious and I'm honestly just going this slow because of the video but usually I would just be speeding this up but I know people would blending like especially me like me too like still like it's like a thing that's you don't really no one really explains it they're just like oh blend it and it's for some it's personal preference to others it's like no you're supposed to do it a certain way or you're not doing it right whatever whatever so like i feel like it's not blended so i almost took there's already yellow on this I almost went in with a different color so the yellow that i used originally and always just go back and forth forth and Take your time, make sure you're only going around that edge, like I want to smooth it out. But with my yellow, I am going more aggressively toward it because it's a lighter color, so you really gotta, for me, I just feel like I really gotta just get in there. Sorry, it was just a lot of noise outside and I have no idea what that was. So I'm gonna go here too, because for whatever reason, I didn't do my outer edge, whatever. And lightly, because I packed a lot right here and I don't want it to, to go too far. So I just stay around this area. And if you, prep correctly and it's technique and everybody's different but I can literally sit here and just focus on this area and it's gonna blend out you know so like I said it's preference um, I wanted it really dark for the when I cut the crease and then my yellow haven't put any extra on it I just go and
I just realized I don't know what I'm doing. But <laughs> I thought I heard it, but maybe not. But for me, I'm like, oh man, it's like a really bad line right there. So I'll just go back in with my yellow that I had before that I have on the floor because I like to knock things down so it's just easier to keep it on the ground. So I'm going to actually go back in with my NYX just because it was closest and lightly just get that area together. And then in these instances sometimes people use um, what I want to say, a different color to help it transition. But for me, this is fine because I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to put liner on and it's just not even going to look like this anymore. But like it glides on, but it's not like, like, oh duh, I forgot I have that. I have this um, NYX eyeshadow base, which is white. And it's the same kind of, it's like if they took this pencil and melted it down just a tad and did the same. Cause like usually people use this that I'm using as a base. Like before I would even, I would just took this pencil. But I have one that's already open. If I feel like it's not white enough, like I have like color from other times I've been doing my makeup. But that out of there. I dip in it, oh, and it's like really creamy. I dip in it, and um, it's like all over my finger. And I don't want to use too much, but it's super creamy and soft. But you're like, hey, that's a good thing. Yes and no, because it's not like it's gonna. I want to look down, but I have to look for this brush. It's not like it's going to really dry down. It's like I have to put a shadow on top or at least set it or it's just going to get everywhere. Like it's not going to drip, but you know what I'm saying? It's not going to like set. Sorry, I know I'm like super focused. I just, I just want it kind of smoothed out. But I pat it and sweep because I still want a lot on there. So like I said, um, with this, I'm actually going to take my lighter yellow. No, I'm crazy. But with this, I want to um, like tilt my head back and I want to make sure I have it nice and clean. Really precise, like if you do this enough, like, I haven't done these in, like I haven't done this particular look, I'm gonna get a packing brush. I haven't done this particular look like this in a long time. So I'm trying to be really, Precise with it, there it is. And I'm just gonna take um, my Morphe M210, and it's a nice flat little like I use it for packing on color. So like I'm gonna go back with my first palette and use that yellow again. And I'm really gonna. I'm. If you want it to come up a lot, pack it. Like pack it on there first. Don't fleet pack. So. You're gonna get fallout. So if you do your, if you're unlike me and you do your face first and then you do your eyeshadow, and sometimes it just depends on what I'm doing. But um, if you do it like that, then make sure you have your powder underneath. So then when it falls down, you can just wipe it away. Don't worry about messing up your 
makeup, especially when you're doing like blues, purples, and whatnot. So, you know, mess up your foundation and all that. We just did. I'm trying to get this off. But I don't like to sit that long and bake for that long. Sometimes I have stuff to do. So I just do my eyeshadow first. To get it over with. But same yellow. You know? Kind of like heck on their funny. And then it gives me a sense of how it's gonna look. So like here, it's kind of buggy. I my mean, brown is at like all the way over there. So. And I go back, and like I said, you can spruce it up. So my line is there, so I don't want to mess that up. My my cut crease is there, so really I'm just gonna go and pack that first brown on there that was there in the first place, and then I'm gonna mix it with the other one. And I always want to take the wrong palette and do that. I'm like literally almost messing with this look here. But um, just gonna go back with another yellow and just get in here so nothing gets lost. Just trying to blend a few things out real light. Nothing, nothing too serious because it's fine. So wherever it is, because I know I have it, I just have it. There we go. I'm gonna take my Revlon Color Stay Skinny. So for me, like y'all know, I struggle with eyeliner. If you struggle with eyeliner, no matter what you like to put on. Um, Tape will save you every time. Every time. Oh, we we gonna put a wing wing on it.
Okay. And I know my eyeliner probably seems a little thick, but when I put my eyelashes on, you won't even be able to like that I had eyeliner on. So I'll put it on super thick. So now that my eyeliner is finally on there, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna take a, a nice little inner eye situation. Let's do, no, I will be putting that on my face, but not that one. So, I'm gonna go and take the Morphe palette again, and I'm gonna take this right here. It's a nice little, I wanna say like beige, but I'm gonna put it on this Should I? Should it be? Yep, why not? Glistening, shining, and living life to the fullest. So, I'm just gonna put on a lash. These are my, um, who are these? These are my, I can't remember the name of them. I picked up the other one because these are kind that they go from short to long, so you kind of have to put them on the right eye. You know, some other ones that you can put either one, it doesn't matter. Nobody notices, but not these. These are not those. If you got these on the wrong eye, it's very evident because the ends are really long. And usually I don't like lashes that go from short to long on the ends. Just for my eyes personally, I haven't, until now, I haven't found any that looked right. I don't know if I'm saying that. But they do. They look, they look funny. They look weird. But these don't. And I just, you know, I take the end of my brush because oh, it's going to be Good thing it's just, it's just hair glue. Yes. Hair glue. I use hair glue to put my eyelashes on. If you don't, I feel like that's more weird than me doing it. That's just personal preference. I'm gonna take my really tiny, skinny tweezers I only use to put on my lashes. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop these babies on there. And I pop them on all the way like this because my eyelashes like to. Oh! Oh, well, it's too late now. Well, no, it's too late now. Okay, we're just gonna put the lashes on first. Um, sometimes I like to put my mascara and stuff on first. See, like, I know it's on there because it'll stay in the middle first. We're just gonna put on the ends. Second, and then we're gonna go put the inner eye on last. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, and I know it's on there because I, when I put on my lashes, I feel it on my skin. I don't like people are like, I put it right on my lash. How you know it's on there right? Like, I don't understand. So I let it sit for like a second and then I push it back even farther and I clamp it. Now, the things that's closest to my actual eyelid are the inner corner and the outer. And then everything else is just sitting on my lid. So, that's fine for me. Ooh, these babies are heavy. But I do this for a reason. Cause like I don't like if my inner corner is coming off, like my lash is coming off. It's annoying. It's super annoying. Plus using this is super annoying, and I can't get that close to like. First of all, can I even get this on? Oh, there's a little skin in there. Hurt. Anyways. So, <laughs> that is it on 
I'm gonna do my lash line. Also, I'm gonna take this tape off. See that? So when you're like on Instagram wondering like, man, how do they get that like that? I don't clean it up with concealer because it's never as sharp when you use tape. Like if you don't use tape, like, and it's just cheap dollar scotch tape that I'm using. Excuse my lower lashes. I don't have any lashes, so kind of doing this is redundant. But I notice when I don't, it, looks, it still looks crazy. Like when I have pictures and closing up on my face, people are like, "Why don't you have mascara?" Like, Dang, my lashes are so tiny. I forgot. Now my real top lashes should pretty much be stuck to my falsies, but I've seen, okay, this isn't the brush to do it, but I've seen people like put their lower lash, like mascara on like that. I did that one time with a fluffier like mascara brush. I stabbed myself in the eye. But there's that eye right there. I'm gonna do the other side, put on a wig, and you know what, I'm gonna do my little outro, but I'm actually gonna, before I do that, I'm actually gonna take, I literally felt my face get wet. I had about heart attack. Yeah, that's what it felt like, mascara. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with the inner corner highlight that I used, and I'm actually gonna just take my finger. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my finger and do, 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 tap, tap, tap. A little more. Put that there. And just. <sighs> I forgot my brows look really nice and I didn't want to mess them up. I only put like a little tiny bit up there now because. Anyways. But I swear I'm going to try to make the other one look just like this one. And then I, I will see y'all that boom here we go so this is the final look ignore my wig it's just it's doing a lot right now but um let me just get a little hold on let me get my little wig pieces out the way close up of you know bam ignore all the texture on my face it's a struggle trying to take care of that but no oh, there's my highlight no it turned out really good um probably gonna add a little more mascara to my bottom lashes because it's literally driving me crazy right now I forget after I do my pattern pattern stuff that it's a whole process I thought I got it on my face but that's literally on my lashes they're that short. I just, I've always not had lashes like that. Sorry, my TV is plain and I forgot. And apparently, it's not like we do anything to it. There we go. So, um, tell me what y'all thought about this look as I'm still finishing it after all this time. Um, comment, like, subscribe. You know, y'all know what to do. And um, keep coming back. This was really fun. It was actually a lot easier than the long, long video I just made to do it. But um, it's nice. It's a nice bright color. It's kind of gloomy today. So I feel like, you know, my little yellow is going to be popping. I will be taking a lot of pictures today, especially with my favorite wig on. But one more close up so y'all can see nice and blended and the highlight and these lashes these lashes are like ridiculous they're really nice they're some of my favorite honestly because for them to be so big they actually don't look they they make all my looks just look amazing I mean, but um anyways as i ramble on uh come back 
see me again. I will be posting all week because I have a lot of time off from work. So, uh, catch me later. Peace. Your lips pressed against mine after a night out.